What's up with it, man? It's Lil Chase, aka Melody Killer, aka Trendy, the motherfucking most popping. I just jumped out the porch with a dirty glove bastard. Fuck with me. All right, so we got my guy, Lil Chase, jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. What's good? What's good? Melody Killer, aka Trendy. What's up with it? What's up? This man with three AKAs, man. I love it. <laughs> Hey, got got too much going. Got I mean, you can say it's the motion, but got too much going on, so it's I'm just it's changing. Nah, definitely, yeah. man, definitely, man. Yeah. So first off, how we feeling today, man? I'm good. I'm with you. I'm jumping out the porch today, so it's like yeah. There well, I'm being jumped out, but let's just say like shit, we out here today. Yeah, <laughs> you jumping off our porch off now. Off y'all porch, yeah, in the A. So yeah, definitely, man. And go ahead and shout out your people sitting up there with you today too, man. Yeah, I got my team. I got my day to day manager right here. That's Ian. I got my boy Sav. My boy Reed, it's like it's my best friend, it's my man from the crib, it's my little brother, cameraman, Gree. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's my team right here. It's how it's how it's the engine, it's how it works. Nah, absolutely, man. Love to see them all come out here and support you too, nah, for man. Sure, for sure. Yeah, man. So, you know, while you're in Atlanta, what else are you working on? Are you touching the city, man? You running around? What, what are we doing? Yeah. We had we had we had some stuff this whole weekend. Like yesterday we uh we had a video shoot for what, for my next single that's about to drop. Okay. Yeah, so we just been out here really working. Just networking and everything with everybody out here, linking with producers and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you used to live out here too, right? Yeah, I used to live out here. Okay, man. Yeah, I moved out here in um, like 2020. Yeah. yeah. Oh, during the pandemic? Yeah, during the pandemic, like, yeah. Because that's like, that was like a year. Like, I just started mu day doing music for real. Okay. And I had met him and I had met um another producer who I moved out here with. So I was just like, man, I, I want to do this music shit. So I knew I had to come to at least the A because nah, that's where it's going. Nah, definitely, man. And for folks that don't know, you from Columbia, Missouri, man. Yeah, I'm from Columbia. I'm from Midwest, Missouri. People probably ain't never heard of Columbia. I've heard of it, oh, but I don't know it? nothing about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We, you know, we we a, we like a, a college town. Yeah, University of Missouri. Is University there, right? of Missouri. Yeah, okay. Mizzou. Yeah. Yeah. So besides the college, what's there to do, man? Like, what's the you know what's the culture like there? It ain't no culture. It's just it no people culture. living. It's like a whole bunch of NPCs moving around for real. Really? Like, I mean, it's the same people that you grew up with. Hmm. You know, it's, it's the same. It's, it's do it. I mean, you either try to play sports for a minute, that don't work. Most people start trapping, scamming, uh, starting families. I mean, it ain't really. You know, it's the same everywhere else. I guess it's just. Yeah. It's just small. It's just so small. Like nobody. It's not that like. And nobody ever really made it out of there. It's just more of like, you know, you got they be having to leave just to go pop off. No, nah, absolutely, man. Yeah. Did you always have ambitions and dreams of, you know, like getting out the city and kind of making it further than that then? Yeah, like for sure. That's definitely like, that was my thing. Just like, I don't know. I just thought like, it wasn't like I was better than everybody. It was just more of like, I knew I was, I knew I had something. I knew I was special. I knew I needed to do something. Yeah. Like, and I knew I couldn't do it fully there, if that makes sense. No, nah, that's understandable, man. Yeah. It's always like, you always feel like you outgrow your city at some point. Yeah, that's, that's point, it. You know? so I still love my city. You know, shout out to 573. You know, that's where I'm from. Like, that's, I'm going, oh, that's where, I, that's my roots. That's, that's what really what made me, you know, become what I was. But it's also just like, I agree. I got to, you know, just like you can leave in the crib from your parents or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I want to be at home where I ain't doing nothing, but you got you to be a man. You got to be, a, you got to grow up at some point. No, nah, absolutely, man. I definitely feel that. And so you used to hoop a lot too, right? When you were younger? Yeah, I used to hoop. Okay. Oh, crazy. Hmm. Like, like you was real, good at it or? Different. Like for <laughs> it's real. A different. different. I'm a, hey, look, I'm going to say this right now. Any, any artist, anybody that make music, anyone want to play basketball one-on-one, -on -one, I'm putting up any money. <laughs> any money. Ain't, ain't, ain't no, like, I'm telling you, like, it's different. Uh, different. So did you go to college for it? Did you get scholarships or anything or? Nah, I ain't going to college. I had a lot. I had a lot of D ones though, like oh, looking yeah. at me and shit. Yeah, for real. I, had, I went on. I was on. I had a lot of D ones looking at me. Okay. It's just more just like, man, I liked hooping. I like playing basketball. I ain't like the extra shit. Like I ain't like all the other shit that was going on. It's just like politics wise. I just wanted, you know, what I'm I was just a hooper. I was just like that. Yeah. That was it. I averaged like 30, 40 points a game. Oh shit. Real Boy, it's shit. the truth, huh? Real shit. You can look <laughs> me up. All that going See? crazy. Anything I do, this motion don't stop. I'm telling you. Uh, and you played against Michael Porter Jr., right? Yeah, that's my bro. That's like my that's my nigga for real, for real. Okay. Yeah, we we grew up together. We played together since like seventh, eighth grade. Oh shit. Yeah, so that's my man's. 
He just won a championship. Shout out my bro, I was too. Gonna say, he yeah. just got that. I know he lit right now. Yeah, he, they in Vegas right now. They're going crazy. Yeah, we yeah, posted they, a, a video of the Joker. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, got his shirt hey, off. He going crazy hey, up there. <laughs> And the Joker said, I want to be at the parade. He's talking about, nah, this is lit. I ain't trying to go ride no horse. This is lit. <laughs> nah, that's crazy they had the Joker out there. Yeah. yeah that shit, wow. So, so yeah. you still got it today, man. You can still hoop, though. Can I still hoop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit eating. That shit eating. Like, I ain't going to lie. I done gained a little bit of weight. You know what I'm saying? That's gained a little weight, but still like that, though, for sure. For sure. Hell, man. yeah. I got you. Yeah. So when would you say you jumped off the porch, child, or? Shit. 12, 13 years old. Okay. Real shit. Just, just what I had going on at home. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I was playing basketball, but it was just more like, I had a life too, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't just a hooper. I wasn't just, you know, I had shit going on with my, my mom, my dad, my mm. brother and shit like that. So it was just more of like, shit, I was hooping, but I had a whole different influence at the crib. Like, this is where I'm going home every day. This is what I'm, I'm going through and seeing every day, this type of shit, you feel me? Like, yeah. it ain't got that people don't even know. It's not, this ain't got. Nothing to do with what they own. It's way, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, hmm, I'm trying to think like, it's different. Yeah, it. like, I'm just trying to explain it. It's just more like, you know, my pops just like, my pops going to prison and shit like that. Just, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Drug charge and shit like that. Just shit like, you know, raised in the crib. I'm hooping and shit. I come home to game after a game or something, crib getting raided. You know what I'm saying? My brother, we get another shit. I'm, I'm literally another thing. I'm at a game. My brother, I watch my brother lead the court type shit. He lead the court. Somebody, you know what I'm saying, trying to run up in his career while he gone. Ops there, whatever. You know what I'm saying? 12 pull up, whatever. Duh, duh, duh. Like, just shit that happened with my brother and shit. That I was just, you know what I'm saying? That's my man. This is what I'm with every day, though. Yeah. So, it's just more like shit. I had shit going on at home. I was like, man, this basketball shit, I'm just, it's hard to focus on it. No, you know? that's understandable. And then bro. it was just more of like, shit, I needed some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like a lot of other people shit. I grew up with, we had to go, like, ain't, ain't nothing been given. I had to go get everything I got. Like, real shit, so it's more of like, shit. So my pop couldn't go get me no shoes or nothing for basketball or something like that. I'm walking with, with holes in my shoes hooping. Like, this real shit, like, this ain't no cap. It's like, I just had to go get it. And it's just more of like, I wasn't never mad at my family for not having it. Just more like, okay, well, I gotta go get it. And I wanted some money. I, wasn't, I really wanted to go do some shit. I wanted to leave, leave the town. Yeah. Like I wanted to get up out of there. So my thing was like, shit, I had to go run me up some racks any way possible. No, I feel that. I feel like that was always going to be more stable than anything else for me. Yeah. So how proud of yourself are you, you know, of how far you came? No, nah, definitely proud of myself. You know, and I, I ain't even where, obviously I ain't going to be, but I got to be, I got to be in the moment. I got to be happy with what I'm doing right now. Because, shit, it's been worse. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Shit, I'm, I'm right here. I'm doing what I'm doing. Little Chase, he's about to be the biggest everywhere. I feel that. So, it's like, so when uh, when does music come into play? Like when did you first start making music then? Man. Man, man we was I'm talking about in the car with it and one day we was chilling when they smoke. We told him, hey, sing for real. We really said sing. Man. You know, we just started singing. Shit got serious from there. Yeah, it was just more of like, you know how people be doing them little challenges like, hey, go sing. Like, just be, you know what I'm saying, do a freestyle over this. Like, I was doing shit like that, just like on some play shit. Mm-hmm. And they was like, bro, you actually, you actually can sing. You actually can make, like, you might need to make music. I'm like, what? Nah, I'm cool. I didn't even want to make music. Like, I was just still just chilling. Like, I was just done hooping and shit after high school. I'm just chilling back at the crib, just, you know, getting into shit, doing shit with, with the bros at the crib, you know, whatever. Then, like, they asked my friend, my homies I was with at the crib, they started um, making music. So they was like, bro, you make music too a little bit? I'm like, yeah, like, come make some music. I just started making music, uh-huh. and then I, I I had performed at like a at like a show back at the crib, and I had just got hella buzz in my city, and I pretty much just like blew the fuck up in my city. Like everybody listen to my music, everybody know my words, my songs word for word, hmm. shit like that. So I'm buzzing in the city. So I'm like, damn, maybe I need to start making music. So then I started making music, and then just a little bit on the side, just like you know what I'm saying. I'm, just, I'm getting money here and there, not really too much. It's just you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm at the crib with my with, with the bros, little apartment with my fam, and just. Day, when we were at the apartment, just every day, every day we just we just in the room. I go in this room, we just smoking, we just let's make some music. And just start making music. That shit started moving, people start fucking with, but I'm just like, man, I don't know if I can make music. Cause it's like, bro, who the fuck like nobody really just be blowing up. Yeah, there's a lot of niggas that blow up, but I'm talking about who really blow up in music, who really got that shit. Like in the Midwest, That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like who you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like small, Yeah, and, and I there. and I always had confidence in myself, but it was just more of like, I don't know if I really wanna take this route. Do I really wanna make this music? Do I really wanna, you know, do that? So 
shit, I drop a tape, it go crazy, run up hella stream, like I think like 300,000, 400,000, like six, I don't know, like four or, five, four or six months, like just going crazy, like my shit going. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna start making music. And like I said, like my bro Mike, I already knew him and shit like that. So like when he was on the Nuggets type shit, I was always, I would go out to Denver sometimes, shit like, just link with him and shit like that. And I'll meet some people, whatever. I came back to the crib and this, uh, this, this lady I know, shout out to Dr. Kelly. She, um, she, a, she, a, doc, she a dentist out in Denver. Hmm. And she had, like listened to my music. She like, I want to get you a show out here. I'm like, what, a show? Like, I'm at the crib, like $300 in my pocket. Like, what? So like, we, yeah. I'm sitting outside, like trying to, with, with all the bros trying to get, trying to get a blunt. Like this real shit, we just trying to get a blunt, just to, you know, go for the day. And I'm like, what? She like, yeah, you got to come out to Denver. I'm going to get you a show in like three weeks. I'm like, all right, bet. Whole time, I'm just saying bet. But I'm like, man, I ain't going to that shit. <laughs> man, what? I'm like, I'm not going to that shit, bro. Like, you think I'm going to go waste my time and go all the way out to Denver? I ain't even got no money. Out of here. So pretty much, I'm like, all right. She like, hey, I got you the show. They gave me the flyer. It's the next week. We about to drive up there. She like, I'm like, all my friends be like, shit, let's just drive up there. Like, we ain't, ain't got no plane money, but we can drive up there. Like, mm -hmm. nine, 10 hour drive. All right, I'm like, all right, let's drive up there. It gets to that day on that Friday, we about to drive up there. Dead ass, I go knock on everybody's door. Yo, y'all trying to slide, we about to, let's go. Shit, bro, I ain't even gonna lie, bro, I can't go. So I'm like, all right, bet. Fuck it, I know another nigga go with me. I go ask him, he like, yeah, bro, I go, I go, come pick me up. I get to his crib, he like, Nah, bro, I ain't even go live, but my shorty finna come over, bro, with me this for the weekend. So I'm, I'm like, damn, bro, like, damn, I'm trying, we trying to go do some shit. Like, I got a whole show, like, what? I got my first show. That, he like, nah, I ain't even trying to go. I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm like, I, I'm in the car. I'm like, should I go? I'm like, fuck it, I'll go. I'm just like, I'm going to go by myself. You drove up there by yourself? By myself. I'm like, 8, 19. So I'm like, I ain't never drove out the city by myself. Like, what? <laughs> out the state? For real? Like, I ain't never drove out. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to just do it. I'm driving, bro, 10 hours by myself. I get like two hours, I get to like Kansas City, like two hours out, and I'm like, man, hell no, nah, I'm going back to the crib. I damn near turned around, but I was like, fuck it, I'ma just slide. And I slid, everything. Fast forward, we get up there, shit, the show at like 11, cause it's at a club, but I didn't know it was at a club. I'm thinking it's like a real show, but it's a club, so I'm like, okay, it's a club. And it ain't, it's like some people in there, but it ain't too many, and people come around, like, and then, so I go in, so she's like, yeah, you about to perform here, I'm gonna let you meet the dude. We go up there, I meet the dude. I'm about to start performing. Shit, I'm just looking, nobody paying attention. I mean, nobody paying attention to him. So I'm like, I done drove up here 10 hours for nothing. Like this shit, like whack as fuck. I'm like, I don't wanna do no music no more. Like I'm literally ready to quit. I'm up there like, man, fuck this shit. But like, I'm just like, all right, whatever. I'm performing my little three songs and then I'm out. So I'm performing my songs. Ain't I don't think nobody listening to me. Like I'm like, man, fuck this. So I get down, I'm about to leave. And like uh, my a guy I had met out there, like I said, I was going out there with Mike, and I had met him out there. He was like, "Yo, come to the section, bro. Some people want to meet you." So I'm like, "All right, bet." So I go in there, but it's the whole Nuggets. It's all the oh, Nuggets shit. players. They out. They out this weekend. And then my bro uh, Gary Harris, shout out, bro. He was like, "Hey, bro, you was up there. That was you making that music." I'm like, "Yeah." He like, "Bro, you crazy, bro. You like, you got that shit. You like, what's your let me what's your line, bro? You go crazy. Like, I want to tap in with your music." So I'm like, "All right, say less." Then give him my number, whatever. Doo -doo. Monte Morris, that's who my manager is now. He um, was like, hey, bro, I want to, you know what I'm saying, ride with me today, like, the rest of this night, I want to link with you, I want to talk to you about some shit. I'm like, all right, bet. And then shit. And then he was like, he pretty much was like, I'm going to fly you out. I'm gonna, when you go back to the crib, I'm going to fly you back out here the next week, and we're going to start with this, like, we're going to get you right. We're going to figure this shit out for you. Oh, and he just moved me out to Denver with him. Huh. Man, I came from living in an apartment, me and bro, in a little one bedroom, half a bed, one and a half bedroom type shit, weird apartment to go and live in a mansion with bro I'm just like bro what the fuck I'm like yeah this crazy I'm like I gotta go up I'm trying to do this yeah how happy you were that you made that drive then, man, man what happy like what I'm <laughs> hey look I, I still gotta drive back the next day I'm happy as hell the drive ain't even me I'm like man I can do this shit I'm driving back the whole time good as hell laughing man I'm good and like really like it sound like what it is but that's it like took a chance like I took a risk ain't nobody want to take like that's something I've always been about like it don't matter if like these my bros, but shit, this show gotta keep going. For yeah. me, you know, I got I got I got things to take care of. Feel me? So it was like that's that's really what I be on, just take this risk. I can't play nothing safe. Nah, for real. I'm playing man. it safe, but I can't play nothing safe. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, I gotta go get it. So what was that experience like living out in Denver at the time, man? Man. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie. Man, that's the that's the that's the crazy experience when I say baddest. <laughs> they out there. Like, I mean, he living with people that, you know, that got money that's 
Oh yeah. So you know, his his life really changed from seeing that you can really go somewhere in life and live life how you want it with no restrictions, really. And that was really more it was about like. Yeah, bro, like on some real shit, you know you gotta have that paper to do this shit, to like do what you really wanna do. You gotta invest, you gotta have, you gotta do that. But mm -hmm. it was just more for me seeing it like, damn, like you could really, like you, it's like, it, this, he ain't know me from a can of paint. Never knew me, the first night I ever met him. And like, like that's my bro now, just because of our relationship, besides the music, but like, I ain't even, it's like, that's the people you gotta be around. Everybody around here, like, that I'm with, besides like these two, obviously like, these other three, like, we had just linked up on just like this business tip, like, mm -hmm. and that, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we linked up on this, on this music, like, because everybody had the same goal, same vision. If he on some other shit for me and I'm not on that, it's never going to work, you know? So oh, for real, and for real being out there, just like, just seeing how, like he was in the league and how, how the people he had around him, it just showed me like, okay, you got to run this shit like a business. Like everything y'all you do with this has to be in order. You got to be organized. You can't be out here on some just luck shit and just think that it's gonna pop. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can if you want to, but. Yeah, but that's a dream right but, there. You man. know, that's the dream. Yeah. So. So how would you describe this uh, journey you've been on with your music then these past few years? I say, I, shit, I love it, I'm good. I'm good with it. You know, it's like, I can't see somebody, I can't like choose like, oh, all right, I'm gonna try to blow up like little baby. Do what he did, you can't do that. He did that on his own. You can't try to go be another rap. I'm gonna try to be like Uzi. Like, you just, like, nobody want that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta really be yourself. Like, that's all you gotta do, just be you. Like, that's the most genuine shit you can be, especially if you're trying to build your, build not only yourself, but your brand. Like, this mm -hmm. a brand, this BCM, Bandcamp Melody, like, we really repping that. Like, we trying to be somewhere. We trying to, you know what I'm saying? We wanna, we wanna make it. I think that, man. And yeah, you got the chance to work with PMB Rock, right? Hell yeah, I got a feature with him. The thing is, I never met, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, I never met, bro, but we talked we talked on the phone type shit, and I got the feature type shit, but I was supposed to meet him. COVID hit. Oh, whole shit. bunch of shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, right when I had moved out to Denver, like, motion going crazy. I'm, ooh, then COVID hit, and shit stopped for, like, four months. Hmm. And it's like, it's just more like, that was a thing like that. But, like, we got a song, like, Damn, yeah, R.I.P. the game, bro. That shit unfortunate. Yeah. For real. Also worked with Trina too, man. Man, yeah, shout out to Trina, man. She real as fuck, I ain't gonna lie. Hmm. She probably, like, yeah, she one of the realest man. people I done met in the industry on some real shit. She showed a lot of love to us, you know. Yeah, yeah. we performed at, um, I performed Rockstar at the Festival. Rockstar Festival okay, yeah. in Miami. Hell yeah, um, that was lit though. Boosie was there, he performed. Uh, Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy did. Oh, man, man, yeah. I ain't tell him about that. Ah. <laughs> man. Happened, man. man, I hope I hope I hope bro ain't beefing with us because yeah. damn we, we fuck with you but it's like shit bro kind of yeah you. bro kind bro got mad at us because we was in we was in the back room like we supposed to be here we already we that man we pull up and they man, what? this is our section we have mm -hmm. a whole security team like we doing the same thing everybody else that are doing we got invited to perform you know everything was paid for which was lovely. The lovely part, you know, she really made sure everything was professional. Oh, mm -hmm. You know, she made sure everybody got out there, every hotel, everybody had hotels, had a driver pick them up, you know, security team. Um, so yeah, we, they put us in a section and then another security guard came over and was like. Oh, Trick Daddy came in, I'm like, bro. He like, man, what are they doing? He's like, you guys gotta get out of the section. It's, you know, we like, what? We, we've been here. Yeah. So then he over there like, y'all lame, like y'all, like, you know who I am, like, and we like. Yeah, bro, cause listen, bro, man, look. All I know is about this team. I know BCM shit, that's all I know, so. I but he was on some mad shit, though. We know, I know he came in that motherfucker, storming in that motherfucker mad. Like, nigga, man, we staying in here. Our security guard like, bro, y'all good, y'all straight. Don't even trip on it. Hmm. I'm like, yeah, I ain't moving. Nah, stand on that, man. <laughs> no, you got to, it's not even on no, you feel me? It's just on some shit, we respect, we gotta be respected too. Yeah. yeah we but it was a good experience, man. Shout out to Trina for real. Yeah, that shit was lit, though. She showed Make love sure. for sure. Oh. Make sure y'all tap in there next year festival. Yeah, we at that, too. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So how'd you connect in with uh, Babyface Ray, man? Yeah. So that's, 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 yeah. That's that dude. I ain't gonna lie. Man, that's a, we face. Yeah, shout out Face, man. Face really, yeah. That, 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 that nigga showed love. I ain't gonna lie. He really showed love. For sure. Wow. So pretty much, yeah. So my bro Monte, he from, uh, he from uh, Flint. So, you know, that's like, you know, Flint and uh, Detroit, Detroit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they be linking up. Woo -woo. 
he had knew one. I think his I think his manager had knew somebody from the, from like his camp, from Babyface Ray camp, and they was in Denver, and I we was already out in Denver type shit. And he was like, yeah, bro, hey, pull up to the show tonight. We like, all right, bet. Like, y'all good? Like, come on. So I'm like, whole time I'm like, shit, I need to get somewhere, bro. Like, might as well. Let's cook up. We already out here type shit. Bro, do the show. Ooh, ooh. We go on the tour bus. I'm gonna tell this story, this one crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Get that Bay face, okay. Y'all niggas wanna know who be really having that shit, really be popping that shit? Bay face them be they, they can't be having that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I get on the man, I get on the I get on the tour bus. We go back to the back of the bus, we about to make the song. Mm-hmm. Shorty pull up. Yo, what's up? What you want? I'm like, what? She like He talk about it. it's for you, little bro. Like, <laughs> she like that's you? I'm like, what? That's for me? I'm like, all right. I'm like, but shit, I need everybody to get up out of here because I'm trying to record the song while this is going on. I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? Shorty trying to do that to me. I'm trying to record the song. I'm recording, my, I recorded my whole verse like that. Bitch on me, whole time. Yeah. While I'm recording. That's how I made the song. We, why, the song I'm dropping the song in, like, in a month, next month, with okay. the video. Did that. And this bus is huge. I'm talking about Like, this, this is the tour bus, you feel me? I need everybody out the room. I'm finna. Lay that down while I put while I lay this down. You know what I'm saying? Like people yeah. sleeping, and then in the front of us, it's a whole club. Yeah. Like where they got, there's so many people in there. It's like a whole movie. And then the crazy part is in the back, you can't hear nothing. It's like you can't, because he back there recording. Like, yeah, it's well, soundproof. Got yeah. the whole song song going on. I'm talking about running back. <laughs> Not you, girl. Run it back to the, to the engineer. <laughs> Feel me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, real shit. This is real speaking. I'm telling you. Yeah, bro, got that. Yeah, we got that done. What's the song called? Million Pieces. Okay, bet. Yep, it's coming out. Lil Chase, Baby Face Ray. Anything you see Lil Chase, you click that shit. It's going to either change your life, motivate you, put you in your feelings, telling you, teach you how to get some money. That's all, I, that's all I'm about. Yeah. So how would you describe your growth as an artist, you know, when you first started making music up until today? Yeah, I think, I think I'm more, I'm more like, when you, when you hear my music, you know who it is. When you hear Lil Chase, I don't think, I think when I was first making music, you know, obviously it's just like anybody, you just learning. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know what you're doing. And I think now that. I like you're more experienced. Yeah, the more, yeah, the more experience. Like producers, artists, you, I'm around just like learning, like just seeing, seeing how this shit really works can really grow what you put into your music, I feel like. Like you got to know what you're selling. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what this is. It's a business and you know what I'm saying? We selling this shit, so. If you're gonna sell that shit, you gotta have the best work. No matter how I stepped on it is, it's gotta be that. Nah, for real. How would you describe your music then? Let me get, one of y'all give me one every time. Let me hear. What y'all think? <laughs> I like you can make shit for the bitches. You can make shit for the guys too. What you think? Yeah, he make like he make music that is homie. All like I feel like that's why everybody wanted to make music. Like him to make music is because the music he made, like as as like homies. Like we really like could relate to it, and especially him. And it's more know, like he big melody, you, feel yeah. you feel me? Cause it's more. Yeah, for Shit, real. If I made music, it'd be like you know what I'm saying. When and I that's I think that's why people really gravitate to my music, cause I feel like it's music that if somebody can make music like that, they would make music like that. Hmm. And I, and it's wavy shit. I ain't talking about shooting nobody. I ain't talking. Uh, that ain't me. I'm getting money. I'm I'm the nigga that's on the yacht. You know what I'm saying? Out in Italy. I'm not the guy that's want to be all that tough shit. I want, I want, I, I got the women around me. I got the guys around me. We getting money. We doing, you know what I'm saying? We, I guess you could, I guess you could just say it's, it's, it's uh, what they explain, like. Yeah, it's more of a vibe than yeah, anything. Than anything, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, this, this, that. And I'm telling the truth too in it. Like, I'm telling, like, this is just my perspective. And it's like, it's not like, the, you know, he said he's not with the, you know, it's like something you can act like an everyday person can relate to just mm-hmm. in life. Like, you know, he's just telling what he be going through. It's a life. lifestyle music. That's what it is. It's a lifestyle. Like, that's what it is. It's just a lifestyle. Yeah. So you got a project in the works? So what, what we got coming up? Yeah, so I just dropped a single, Lean Drop. Okay. On everything right now. Video out. Go stream that right now. That's going crazy. Um, I am working on a project right now. I was going to drop one, like, last like two months ago, but I'm working on it right now again. This it's gonna be this one is different. It's like it's special. It's more like 
this is the music that's really gonna put put me in like every door I want to be in. Mm. You know. You got a title picked out for the project, or? Nah, not yet. I okay. ain't got one, but I got. But it's in the works, though. Okay. Yeah. And who's some of the producers you've been working with lately? Shit. I got. Um, I, I I'm actually about to drop a single with uh, Business Boy. Okay. Yeah, he got some shit with Baby, shit like that. Um, I've been working with Foel Hundo a lot. He got a lot of shit with some people. Um, Jay Dollar. Now, we're really trying to work with people that are really just trying to come up because a lot of people that are already named in the brand it's yeah. like first class too for you know, yeah. yeah so we we can get those people it's not like we can we just we like to find people that you know really have their craft and it's like why don't we build a team and we can bring more people up you know better you know the more connections we have you know it's going to be a lot better in the game and recognition of yeah. other people rather than being like okay you you are you just got the cloud all because you got to be from you know murder beats Okay, you can find somebody that makes hard beats like him because there are people out there. You know, mm -hmm. there's people in small towns. That's all they can do is just sit in their room, you know, and make beats. You know, so it's like that's what we like to do. Yeah, and that's what we about. Like, like he said, we 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 from the ground up. We work with you know so who who we who we come you know we supposed to work with, but if you want to work, with we on the ground up. Exactly. Nah, I feel that. Yeah, just have everyone build up together, man. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like it's more genuine. It's like it's it's got to be more genuine because we all at the same spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, like you said, I can go do, I, there's a, I got a whole bunch of songs with other producers that's up type shit. Or you could say like, you know what I'm saying? Like they popping type shit as producers. But the people I be working with, but the ones who be sending me beats every day, that'd be the ones I'd be like, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah we, 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 we trying to do that. With a lot of the um, upcoming producers now, like, you know, Yeats producer, Sofago, like when we first moved out here, we got in the right room very Back quickly. with. So it's like, we, 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 we know these producers and we know what they're capable of, but it's like, you know, you guys already, you know, you work this hard, like, you know, mm -hmm. like they, they still hit us up and they're like, you know, if you need beats, let's work, you know, so we still get beats from them, but you know, we like what they're doing. So it's like just having that connection and just knowing like their, you know, their wave and their team that they got going, it's like, we can do it too. Yeah. Understood, man. So Chase, man, let's break down these AKAs, man. So yeah. Melody Killer, man, who gave you that or how'd you come up with that? I made that shit? one up, I came up with that. Melody okay. Killer, cause it's like shit, real shit. Like all my friends, you be like, bro, you don't never miss on a song. I'm like, yeah, so I'm the Melody Killer cause like every song like I make, you gonna, you gonna remember something from it. You gonna remember a melody from it. So I'm the Melody Killer with that. And Trendy, like, bro, I already know, like, shit, I just be, I don't never hop on no trends. Like I know, the, I know I'm, I'm the trend before the trend happened. Like I see it before it come alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, it's like shit with basketball. I see the, I see the play happen before it happened. So I'm, you know what I'm saying? That's why they call me trendy. I got you, man. Yeah, Lil Chase. I mean, that's more like, yeah, there's a lot of Lil, like Lil Name type shit, but mine was like, I've always been Lil Chase. Like, I used to be the Lil ass nigga talking shit to all the big homies and shit at the park or at the, or at the gym and shit like that. Just everywhere I'm at, like, I was just Lil Chase. Everybody come around, oh, we're Lil Chase. That's Lil Chase. So that's where I got that. So I've been Lil Chase since I was like five years old. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what's some short term, what's some long term goals you got set for yourself right now? Yeah, short, short term is just, just all these singles that we got, that's, that's, that's hits. Okay. These potential number ones, real shit. And, shit, touring, and yeah. we've been on tour right now. We just, we just got off like, what, six shows type shit. We just did like six shows. We did like a pre-tour, like that was his first tour. You know, we just kind of see what noise we can make and just see what, you know. Yeah, first show we had back at the crib, sold that out. That's it. First song, I mean, first show ever there, yeah, sold man. that out. 500 people, they had, they was like coming up, like the whole, they was coming up to me, like, hey, hey, we, you gotta, you cannot yeah. let nobody in, cause I had all my friends trying to come. Like I had, I had basketball players from was, the zoo trying to come, like, 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 I'm trying to get in. The they calling me, they was about to shut it down. Like, shut it down. Like, Fire truck people there, they there with the paramedics. On the tour like, with V's and um, Babyface Ray. We did that. Okay. That shit went crazy. Uh, now we just, yeah, we about to go back on, we about to go do some more shows and get back on that, this tour and, and do this music shit and drop yeah, some more. Yeah, we're trying to do a world tour, like yeah. mm. 2024, 25. Um, so that's kind of in the makings. Okay, yeah. So what's the music scene like in Columbia right now? It's him. Everybody, yeah, it's me. It's him. It's me, like, that's just what it is, like. In Columbia, you gonna know it's a little change. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Like, it's okay, cause like my pops, he's, he's 70 down there, like. And he'd be like, man, I was at Walmart. Some people come keep coming up to me. Are oh, you, you little Chase dad? Are you little Chase dad? <laughs> oh yeah, we know we know little Chase. We know little Chase. We like his music. He called me. 
Somebody came today telling me you uh, about your music. You must be good. I'm like, cause he, cause he, he don't really care about that shit. He just be like, oh yeah, you must be doing something. So yeah, but nah, it's some, it's some young niggas that's 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 making music too though down there. But I mean, it's just, it's just like it's different, man. Doing this music, like it's it's a when you really want to do the music and you want to be in the business, you got to really understand it. And like everybody just think it's just shoot a music video and drop it and hope it blows up, post mm-hmm. it on TikTok. Like it's way deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? And for us. Like, you know what I'm saying? We the type where, like, we're going, like, shit, we'll go to zero for this. You know what I'm saying? Whatever we got to do. Like, we're going to all make the sacrifices and, you know what I'm saying? We're going to take our time and we're going to, you know, we're going to enjoy our journey. We ain't supposed to blow up like everybody else. If we ain't supposed to do our thing like nobody else. This is going to happen how we want it to happen yeah. and when it's supposed to happen. I think you know what I'm saying? We manifest everything. Everything we're doing right now, we, we, wasn't, we wasn't able or doing a year ago or two years ago. We put all this shit in perspective. Yeah. And what? Shit. What, what's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now today? My advice to be to the youth would be, don't fall into the trap of everybody else. Don't, don't fall into the trap of what everybody else is doing. Don't fall into the trap thinking like, you gotta have something because somebody might have something at that point. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that everything that you have is, t- is, is permanent. A lot of the shit you're doing in your life is gonna be temporary. A lot of the, you know what I'm saying, the mistakes that you didn't made or the things that you went through two years ago don't even matter right now. You're not even thinking about it. So it's, like, like I said, don't fall into the trap, you know what I'm saying? Because once you get trapped, you know what I'm saying, you get, that, you get in that sunken place and it's like how you get up out of there. You know, people be so complacent and forget like your journey got to be your journey. Like if you trying to live like somebody else, bro, it ain't gonna never happen. I'm telling you, cause you gonna keep you gonna keep waiting on them to do the next trend, so you can have something else to bite. This shit, this shit gonna keep going. Like I said, the show gonna keep going for me. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, wise words right there, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chase, go ahead and plug your social media. Let everyone know where to find you at, man. Yeah, man. Melody Killer One on, on Instagram. YouTube, Lil Chase. Like I said, anything you see, Lil Chase, click that shit. You don't click that shit. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's like some voodoo shit might happen. Some shit might happen to you tonight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know when you see when you scrolling, you see, hey, you retweet this or um, repost this or you, some your mom's gonna die if I. Be. Same thing. You don't click it. Hey. So if something happens, DM me. If something happens to you, you don't click my shit. <laughs> I might throw you a little cash app or something just because I get. It. Get that good karma coming, man. Yeah, give, give it back. You know what I'm saying? You got to need that. <laughs> All right, Chase, you got a shout-out you'd like to give before we wrap it up here, bro? Man, shout-out Bandcamp Melody. Shout-out BCM. Man, shout-out my, my son. I just had a son a week ago. Oh, congrats, yeah, man. Yeah, man, that's, that's, the best, that's, the, that's the best thing that ever happened. Change your life, man. Man, it's different. You see, I got, it, I got this foot tatted on my hand. Okay, yeah, I was looking you at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my family, shout out my team, shout out anybody that, that supports me. Uh, shout out Monte Morris, my manager. He couldn't be here today. Shout out Trayvon, you know, he always had me. You know I'm saying, shout out my boy Jig. And shit, shout out Lil Chase, man. The biggest, man, for real. You, you heard it here first, you get your chance to see, see what we doing and see where I am before I really go to the top. Dribble Johnny Ho, yeah, I feel like Gunner. Bitch, I'm Birdman, these niggas, I'm a star now. Coming in a trap, 